Hi there. This is an example on what we call a conical pendulum. We have a light and extensible string of length L has one end attached to a fixed point A and the other end is attached to a particle P of mass M. The particle moves with a constant speed V in a horizontal circle with the string taut. And the centre of the circle is vertically below A and the radius of the circle is R. And we've got to show that gr squared equals v squared times the root of all of l squared minus r squared. So to do this, what I'd want to do is just draw a sketch of a conical pendulum. I'd have the string, let's say we have it angled something like this. Particles attached to the end. Okay, the particle is p. And... This is moving in a circle below this point that it's hanging at, A. So, in other words, if I projected a dotted line down from A all the way down to here, this would be the centre of the circle that the particle is going round, OK? So, if I was to put that path in, it's going to look, say, something like this. OK. Our conical pendulum then. So what do we know? Well, we know that this distance across here, let's in fact mark it in as a solid line, I think. OK, we'll do that. It is of radius r. The length of the string is l. Now, because the particle is going round a circle, this is the center here, then there will be acceleration directed towards the center. And that acceleration, just mark it in then with a double arrow here. Because we're dealing with the particle moving at a constant speed v, that acceleration is going to be equal to v squared divided by the radius r. We need to mark on the forces acting on the particle. There'll be the weight of the particle, which in this example is mg, and that would be measured in newtons. There'll also be a tension acting in the string, so that's going to act that way, and we'll call it T newtons. Now, they're the only two forces that are acting on the particle P. It's the component of the tension acting towards the centre that keeps it in its circular path. So we need some angles for this problem. You can either choose an angle to the vertical or to the horizontal. It makes no difference. Okay, I'm going to just choose that angle as being, say, theta, the angle between the tension here and the radius. So generally, what we do in questions like this is to resolve vertically and horizontally. And this question's no different, okay? So what I'm going to do is resolve vertically first of all. So the component of the tension acting upwards is going to be T sine theta. So you've got T sine theta upwards minus mg and that will equal zero. So rearranging this, we've therefore got T sine theta equals mg. And that's one equation, so we'll number that one. The other thing we need to do is to resolve towards the centre of the circle. And the force keeping it in that circle, as I said earlier, is the component of the tension the horizontal component, which will be T cosine theta. So we've got T cosine theta, and that's the only force acting towards the centre here. That's going to be equal to the mass times the acceleration. Well, the acceleration is V squared over R. So you've got M times V squared over R. And I'll call that equation two. So we've just got to eliminate essentially t and theta between these two equations. Well, with something like this, the best thing we can do is divide equation 1 by equation 2. And if we do that, then we've got the familiar result, 
T sine theta divided by T cosine theta. T's cancel, just leaving us with the tan of angle theta. Tan of angle theta would equal G times R over V squared. The M's cancel, so you've got GR over V squared. Now when it comes to the tan of angle theta, that will be the opposite side divided by the adjacent. We don't have the opposite side at the moment, but we can get it through Pythagoras' theorem. It's going to be the square root of the hypotenuse squared, that's L squared, minus this side squared, R squared. So therefore, the tan of angle theta will be the root of L squared minus R squared, all divided by R. So we've got then the root of L squared minus R squared, that's divided by R, and that's equal to GR over V squared. And so it's just a question now of rearranging this. So if I multiply now both sides by R and V squared, I can see that I'm going to get GR squared, so therefore GR squared equals V squared multiplied with that root, the root of L squared minus R squared. And that's what we had to show. Okay, so the conical pendulum.